Shadow Coast here and welcome back to the Underhive. After much effort, we have prepared a secondary crew to take online, which we are planning on doing now. So I have um, going to invite this person that I pre-set up a match with on the Necromunda Underhive Wars Discord. And I'm going to see if this works. And I am going to copy this. Can I be on Discord on two different computers? Because that'll make my life easier. So we're going to quit Discord on my main rig and go to my secondary backup gaming laptop. All right, so. Uh, hold on. I'm going to see what he wants to do. Uh, if I can get Discord to work on my other computer. And it is reinstalling on this one. I don't. I think my account just got screwed up. Looking for a group. Uh, ready. And prefer exhibition or contest. So I'm just asking him what he prefers he's gonna uh, I can't see his level your level I don't think I can see his level. Do you guys know? Can we see his level? I don't know. Uh, yep. Yeah, you're twice strong. Game for contest still. I'm three to nine. So, um, I'm talking to Artorius or the person we're playing here, and we're basically debating on exhibition versus contest. Uh, he has a 6,000 level gang, we have a 3,000 level gang. Now, this game. Our current actual gang is, I guess, a series of both. So he has a massively stronger, massively stronger um, gang. So he's played a lot more than I have. So he's gonna, he's gonna swap in a different gang, and I don't actually know how that works if we have to re-invite him. So let's see, oh chat, we can chat with him in here. That's how it works. All right. Um, I gotta say, Necromunda Under Eye Wars gets zero for the <laughs> online experience so far. Uh, we'll see how this works. I am like 50% certain we're gonna start loading in and it's just gonna crash, but uh, we're gonna give it a go. Um, how about, um, we're gonna, we're gonna hopefully get started here. Just giving them time to get ready. And see. Um, so, for those joining the live stream or watching this video, I um, I 
I actually, th this is, we've been trying to find a match for like literally an hour. So what we've done is, is actually find someone on Discord, luckily, who's up for playing. Because we have not actually played online at all. And I'm kind of tired of operations. Um, some people made some good comments that uh, Winter Mute mentioned that we need more mission types for operations. We also need better AI for operations. Like I, you know, I understand it's more complicated. And what's actually interesting is, is the the AI seems to like. I, I don't really understand the programming. Like they they play objectives. Um, to their own detriment like they'll run by an injured fighter that they could spend 15 AP taking out um, to run in circles and then pick up two things or they'll pick something up and then try to punch down an enemy um, fighter it just I don't know I'm not a programmer some of it just doesn't make sense so that's my biggest biggest complaint here so we're just gonna chat them. Uh, no, when you're ready. Man, I am extremely stubborn and going to make this work. We are going to try to play an online match at least once. The thing is, I, I really do like the game. Like I, you know, I wanted, this is, I, you know, I wanted them to take, um, I didn't want this just to be a reskin Mordheim. That was what I was expecting. And they definitely, um, they definitely, I'm kind of waiting for him. Uh, I thought I saw him typing there for a second uh, on, on Discord. I, de I definitely they, they they delivered. So the reason I lowered my expectations is I was expecting a poorly res or a reskinned Mordheim. They did more than that. They they took Mordheim to the next level. Um, they made a lot of good improvements. This idea of verticality, I think they have done very well. Uh, there are a couple areas of improvement, and I sincerely hope they stick with this game. Because if they make some improvements, so one would be improving AI at least a little bit, um, improving the online experience to make it actually playable, um, I would definitely pay full price for DLC content. Vansar, I'd like to see Deloc, or I always say DeliQ, but I think it's technically Deloc. Um, those are two houses I'd like to see. I'm still holding out hope for Aranthus. I am a huge Warhammer fan, so a little backstory on House Aranthus. It's a fallen house that uh, was eviscerated by a plague. That's the same plague that left most of House Escher males um, underdeveloped. Uh, so, so yeah, like there's a lot of potential with this game. Releasing those houses with unique traits. Uh, but to do that, they really need to improve a few. Oh, he checkmarked. Um, we ch uh, secure area, Royal Rumble, uh, pit brawl, retrieve machine parts. Uh, let me see here. Preference on uh, game mode. I don't think he has. I don't know if he has a preference on game mode. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. Let me see. I uh, know. Oh boy, I just. What did I do? Squirmish. Uh, great. Let's do exhibition. To start, and he's watching the live stream, so he'll see all my moves and my plan. But that's okay. Um, all right, so we're gonna go. Can we? Is there like a random option? There is. 
no random option. Um, okay, let's go with, I don't want to do retrieval. Uh, a lot of it's retrieval. Prip for all, Spectrum Supremacy, Royal Rumble, um, defeat all enemies, one fighter deployed each round. Let's go for it. Turn timer. Let's let's give. Are you comfortable since you're watching the live stream? Um, are you comfortable if we do three minutes? Is that enough time to think? You know what? We'll we'll keep it none. We'll keep it none. And um, cannot enter mission. Not all players are. Ah, all right. So you need to ready up, and once you're ready, we will we will launch the game. So I think on your end, you need to click ready. And then we'll we'll go ahead. I think it it'll show a check mark. Do I? All right, there we. How do I? Um. There we go. Finally, we are playing um, an online match after an hour and fifteen minutes of of effort. Um, so we have um, a great opponent I was able to to find on the discord Necromunda discord so thank you for your participation and thank you for allowing me to live stream um, I know you're watching the live stream as we play so you will hear my strategy please feel free to post on the live stream chat or in game um, this is just for fun and I do do really like this game. It, it has some challenges, um, but I I do enjoy it. That's why we're playing today. So we will we will head in. Thank you, Drazi, on the live stream. Um, I don't know my opponent. Do you have a preferred name? You could post on Discord, live stream, or in game. I'm looking at all three. Uh, there's something I could uh, reference you by. Do you have a preference? I'm not. If you do, just let me know. If not, I'm just gonna call you my opponent because I want to be respectful and make sure. Uh, Paros torpedo is deploying. We will see. Uh, all right, Artorius. So we will call you Artorius. Is that is that pronounced right? Um, let me see here. Okay. All right. So, do I only have one option of deployment? Yeah. So we deploy one at a time. So I will deploy over there. Oh shoot! Did I? Uh, why uh, I assumed it would default to my lead fighter and it did not so we're actually at a disadvantage here because um, we can't actually hit him yet because he's not in the game so that doesn't count as a target so let me take a quick look at the map and determine what I want to do so I'm gonna go over here and do this we are going to use the zipline. We are going to ensure that we have the high ground advantage. We're going to jump down here. This is kind of a jerk move. I apologize, Atorius, if I'm saying that right. But playing to win, this is exhibition. Um, we're going to overwatch. So you're going to be able to get more shots on me, but I'm going to do a little damage to you. So he's got his Goliath gang. This is a lay mechanic. Uh, I, d 
definitely selected a. Oh, I didn't think about that. He can just sit there and shoot me. I'm an idiot. All right, so you see, that's why we always use auto pistols because they're awesome and amazing. Um, Africa is making a move. Now th this is for people watching. We ended up going exhibition, so there aren't lasting consequences. Um, this is be just is more for fun and learning. Um, Artorias, we can definitely play more matches where we could up the stakes. Um, but again, this is kind of uh, screwing around, having fun, and testing things out. You can see it's a little bit choppy. Um, online experience. Internet's good. Health dispenser. Smart move. He's going to heal up. He probably has high toughness. Let's see. And he has extremely high toughness. 75. Um, and he can probably overwatch to protect where he is. Now, one of the disadvantages of going in here, though, is that if he stacks more than one, I'll have an angle for grenades. Um, and we can double cover it. So, let's see. Entering fighter deployment. Um, he is going to... Hundred and fourteen. So we're going to go. Whoa, why won't you? Uh oh. Come on, UI. I cannot. Every time I try to select, it just zooms in. Oh man, I think I'm bugged. How do I do this? I don't know, Atorius, if you have suggestions, but it's not letting me select any of my fighters. Is that a bug? Is that a known bug? Does that end our online experience? Um, yeah, I cannot... Uh, well, alright. Clicking around frantically apparently did something. Uh, so there was zero strategy involved on my end but effectively as we're coming in um, he's gonna move first unfortunately uh, I have lag okay yeah it's interesting because I'm not sure if the internet looks good the stream looks it says it's good And who is that? That's not Susily. That's Jackily. Is in not a good spot because he's gonna get the high ground advantage and eviscerate me. So he will take her out. Oh my goodness! I did not think about that. I am stealing your skills. Adrian is dual pistols. It looks like. Um. So he took our first guy down. Well played, sir. And me running over there was a mistake. Let's see if we can even the, the fight a little bit. Um, yes, his team is higher level. That's okay. Um, if you look at them, they're all level 10 max. But that's why we're playing exhibition. It does. It's not as because this is for fun. So the expectation is I'm going to get steamrolled. His gang, for reference, is um, I think in the 6,000s. I can't remember Artorius what level your gang is, but it's pretty darn powerful. 
My gang is like 3,000 something. All right, so how do I? How do I want to go about this? I'm going to go this direction. So using the zip line, getting over here. He is overwatch, so we're trying not to move. And we're going to shoot with both. Ooh, yeah, look at that. His evasion super high. That's not good for us. And it's going to move us. So part of the reason I'm not moving and I'm letting it auto move me is I'm trying to avoid the overwatch trigger. And I think I moved me closer to him. Entering fighter deployment. All right. Now, my non-leader sniper is not Spectrite. I was tinkering with it, her, and I should have just recruited in a different one. Um, so that's going to to cost me dearly. But uh, we're gonna attempt. So I am lagging here again. But I kind of figured it out. Um, okay. So I really don't think I'm going to be able to take out his sniper. But I'm sure as heck going to try. So I don't have take two yet, unfortunately, because I forgot about it. But it would have been good. And I'm not sure why he didn't trigger his overwatch, but he should have. So, if, well, I can't shoot, so I'll overwatch. Oh, shoot. I thought, I thought that was outside the zone. That is unfortunate. That is extremely unfortunate. I thought I was against the wall. Well, that sucked. I did not want that to happen. I was intentionally trying to go against the wall so I wouldn't overwatch the guy down there. And now I'm probably blocking my other overwatch. So we triggered safeguard, smart move, considering I'm predominantly down to a ranged team. Ooh, he's gonna take out Shadow Heart, our main damage dealer. So I like his tactic where he's setting up to try to then take out the new team members I have by overwatching and not allowing me to get across. Part of the reason I'm moving across is to put distance between um, his fighters and mine and now that they're over there while they can definitely take out my fighters coming in it'll be harder for them to get back across so we're kind of flipping sides of the map um, the strategy here um, we're gonna use this guy but he's gonna move first you're gonna finish off smart he used iron will that's a must have because basically now he's going to be impossible to hit. And I'm not sure if I have Iron Will on Shadow Heart. Yeah, that's ridiculous. We're going to it's going to be a short game. Now this is my backup squad too. Like I have very little invested. I spent some, um, but Iron Will is now making it darn near impossible for me. 
I like how he's got the two bolter guns. Um, they do wicked damage with his. All right. So let's see here. I gotta figure this out. I think part of part of what I would like to try to do is take out one of them, but he is not the one to attack because if we look at this, where is Iron Will? Hit resistance, sun resistance. So if we go to the stats here, um, we're just gonna have glancing blows. That being said, I wanna take out one of them. So we're just gonna spend all our effort in doing that. Left hand, 10 AP. I gotta, well, these guys are still like level, what level are they, five, six? All right, so we're gonna come over here, but when he zooms up there, we will be totally screwed. Uh, you have lag, five, um, I don't have the lowest, sorry, level gang is so many import, is so, yeah. Definitely the level of gang is very important and as you get higher level, you become way more, way more um, powerful. I know, crazy idea. Higher level you are, the more damage and evasion you get. Notorious, since we're using the end game, I don't know if this is going to help, but I'm going to actually shut down Discord to see if that helps the lag a little bit. So I don't know if it's their servers or me, but uh, I don't think we're going to take out a single person on his squad. I like honestly don't think we will. So he's barricading me in. Oof, look at that. A tough match. Definitely tough match. Um, we only have one spot to pick. Our now goal is to take out one of his dudes. That's our only goal. And I'm not, well. Smart, he's setting up so I have to trigger Overwatch. Um, or he's gonna try to barricade me in so I can't move. Not sure what option he's going for. Going for the barricade option. All right, I'm saying that's shenanigans a little bit, but that's okay, part of the game. And we're just having fun here. All right, so, Roaring Forge. 
charge. Definitely hurts, so he's gonna f force me to use this, which is not ideal. Oh, he's right, literally right next to me. Eighty-one percent. That seems absolutely ridiculous, but okay. And you can see I didn't spect red. I don't know why I have advanced aim. I should have double tap. Um, not double tap. I should have take two. Yeah. I screwed up the specking of this person. So Shadow Knight's got eviscerated and he's gonna take me out. Ooh, I didn't even overwatch. Buffing up. Yeah. 115. Well played, sir. I definitely want to rematch once I'm done leveling up my squad to 10. But uh, well played. I, I made some very stupid maneuvers and mistakes. So number one, what I should have done if I was being map aware, I should have disabled the zip line that went over to my side. So that would have been the first smartest strong move and then just should have ran Jackally back if I could. Um, because he has a ranged team um, and he does have safeguard. I mean, the safeguard aura makes it tough, um, but that would have, see it like freaks out. I have to like go right here and there we go. Get the right angle for it to work. Um, so lesson learned. So I should have disabled his link up I should have put my team together and put them on the high ground on this side with safeguard on. Yep. All right, we're gonna end this misery shortly here. Can we not? Ooh, I can't even. I can't target the um, the barrier. That's unfortunate. And I can't target. I can't target this thing, but I can't hit it. Well, we're dead anyways. We'll spend all our time trying to shoot the iron weld impossible to hit dude. Not gonna worry about 
healing ourselves because it's over. Yeah, that raging fire. Oh, are you serious? It's gonna auto. Oh, malarkey. Gonna teleport me outside of it so he can hit me. Well, well played, Artorius. You played the map well. You made some smart decisions. Um, I made some horrible decisions. And well done, sir. We should definitely play again. I have to actually run here in about 15 minutes, so I don't have time for another match. But uh, I will hit you up on Steam or the Discord, and I would love a rematch with a different map where we can actually use our entire game, if you're up for it. Um, yep, let me end a turn. I actually don't know what happens when it ends. So we have to, oh, we have, do we have to end the round? Ah, uh, he has to end the round, because he has a looting round. That's what's happening. Yep. Well played. Well played. Thank you for the match. I have to run, but uh, I definitely want a rematch. Uh, maybe if you're up for live streaming and things, uh, let me know, and we will definitely play again. So if we go to our crew management, we don't have any injuries. Because it was an exhibition match. Um, I'm going to leave the party. But we should play again. Thanks for watching. Um, I will be posting more on Necromunda. Uh, we'll be hopefully playing some more online matches. With Artorius and others. Um, and as always I am trying to grow the channel. So please consider subscribing. And thank you for your support. Shadow Coast out.